Hey everybody, so today we're going to make triple chip cookies. So that means we're going to have uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips, butterscotch chips, and peanut butter chips. And today with me I have my two boys, James and Andrew, to give us some help. Okay, so you guys ready to get started? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we've gone ahead and measured everything out ahead of time. which uh, we did with a gram scale, and I can post the recipe at the end of the video. Okay. So in here right now, we have 170 grams of room temperature butter, which we are going to paddle until it's smooth. Next thing we're going to add is our sugars. Andrew, you want to pour that in there? Yeah. Okay. James, you pour yours in too. All of it, every little bit, Andrew. Good. This process that we're doing now, all of it, is called creaming. Okay, so we are creaming the butter and the sugar together until we have a nice, fluffy, homogenous mix. Now it's important in between each ingredient that we do a little bit of ball scraping. We want to make sure we get everything off the bottom. Because right? so sometimes the paddle, when there's not a ton of ingredients in there, has a hard time reaching the bottom. Now the importance of creaming and getting everything mixed and homogenous will come into play later when the cookie is baking and it will have an effect on the cookie's spread. It will either spread too much or it won't spread enough. Can I pour the chocolate chips? At the very end you can do that. Okay. okay. So the next thing we're going to add is our egg. James, you can add the egg. Okay. Go ahead and put it in. And Andrew, you're going to put in the vanilla extract. Okay. Let me lower the bowl for you. Can you reach up there? Yeah. Pour it all in. Alright, good job boys. Can I pour the chocolate chips? You can each pour half, how about that? Okay. So we're gonna mix that until it's all mixed up nice and smooth. Okay. Now I'll just take a minute. Can you smell it? Smells good, huh? Okay. Now we're gonna go in with our spatula and I'm gonna scrape the bottom again. Make sure we get everything off the bottom. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right. So now in this bowl, we have all of our dry. We have our flour, we have our baking soda, we have our salt, and we have our cornstarch. And it's important before you put it in to mix it up so that we make sure we don't end up with any pockets. So Andrew, you're gonna stir. Ow! Sorry. Okay, you stir. Okay, not too hard. All right, perfect. Okay, so now we make sure we've got it all mixed up in there. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and add that because sometimes that can be a little bit messy. All right. Now at this point, all we're trying to do is just get the flour incorporated. We're not trying to beat this um, into a smooth paste, really, until it forms a cohesive dough, and then we're gonna turn it off. Okay, so you can see there we've got just a plain old cookie dough. All right? Whoa! So, yeah, whoa! All right, so, can I smell it? Can you smell it? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, smell it. Yeah. It's butter. Mm -hmm. You smell butter? Yeah. You got a good nose. I smell, I smell the butter. Me too. All right, so the last ingredient, and maybe one of the most important, right? The chocolate chips, okay? So we have our trio in here. So we have our peanut butter chips, 
We have our butterscotch chips and we have our chocolate chips. Now, it could be any combination of the same volume. You could use all chocolate chips, milk chocolate chips, a combination of that. You can use M&Ms, snow cap candies, whatever you want. It's kind of the cool thing. We have here, though, a total of one and a half cups, so half a cup each of all of those. So, Andrew, you go ahead and pour in half. Okay. Get up there, pour in half. Here? Yep. There? Yep. Yep, you can do it. That's it. Tilt. I'm, I'll help you. How about that? Okay, you hold on. We'll do it together. Pour, 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 pour. Oh, good job. All right. James, you want to do the other half? Mm -hmm. Okay. So go ahead and pour that in. All right. And then we're going to turn this on and just to incorporate the chips. This is not really meant to be a mixing of the dough at this point. It's just to disperse the chips through the cookie dough. That is it. Can I see the chocolate chip? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this cookie dough, we're gonna scrape it out of the bowl, and we're gonna put it in, you know, maybe the bowl that we started with. We're gonna cover it with plastic wrap, and we're actually gonna put this in the fridge for an hour. Okay, you can put it in overnight too. But we're gonna bake them today. We wanna have them today, right guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're gonna put them in for an hour, give the fats a chance to uh, cool back down, give a chance for the gluten to relax. And the reason we do that is if we take it right now at here, it, it, it would be okay, we can make cookies, but what could happen is we could end up with a little bit more spread than we want to because the butter is really soft. We started at room temperature along with the egg. So we're gonna give that a chance to cool back down. So we're gonna cover this up and we'll see you back here in an hour. Okay, so we're back. It's been an hour uh, and a bit. We have our oven already preheated to 350 degrees. We have the dough chilled. We have a tray here. We have a sill pad on our tray. Uh, if you don't have one, it's okay. You can use parchment paper. Or if you have a nice new non-stick cookie tray, you can just put the cookies right on the tray. All right, so James is gonna go ahead and start scooping here with a trusty scoop, okay? We're doing uh, probably a tiny bit more than a tablespoon, but a tablespoon would do the trick, all right? So go ahead and start scooping, buddy. Okay, maybe a little bit less. Okay, all right, I'm gonna put that down. And Andrew, what are you gonna do? You gonna squish it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Andrew's gonna squish it down a tiny bit. Perfect, all right, keep going. Right. So we're gonna go ahead and lay these out probably three, maybe by five. So we're probably not gonna be able to fit all of our dough on the tray at one time. Uh, so we'll probably do a couple of batches. Right, let's go put that there, we'll make a little bit of a ball. And then our squisher, keep scooping. Good job, Andrew. Perfect. Ooh. All right. Good job, James, right down here. All right. All right, Andrew. And squish away. All right. So in the meantime, I'm going to have these guys fill up the whole tray, and then we'll check back once they have it all filled up. Okay. So we're back. Okay. We decided to go with 12 cookies on our tray. And like I said before, we have our oven preheated to 350. So we're going to go ahead over here and put them in the oven. And we're going to set a timer for eight minutes. Put them in the middle rack. Okay. If you have a cooling rack, you want to go ahead and get it out now and have it ready. And we'll see you back here in eight minutes. Okay, so we went ahead and we checked our cookies after eight minutes and we decided to put them in for a little bit longer. Those are a little bit more than the tablespoon. So this is 10 minutes and we're gonna take a look. Okay, I'm gonna call these done. Okay, the cookies have lost their shimmer. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna let them rest on the hot tray for another four minutes. And then we're gonna transfer them from the hot tray to our cooling rack cool down all the way to room temperature before we bite into them. Which again, sort of like the bread video we made before, is really important. It gives the, the cookies a chance to completely finish their cooking, settle down, and allow you to enjoy them at room temperature, which will be the most beneficial to enjoying the texture and natural flavor of the cookie. Okay. Okay, so we've cooked both batches now. Okay, so let them both in for 10 minutes. Uh, this side, uh, 
we left the cookie as we scooped it in a ball and the ones you saw us do uh, originally with the boys, we squished them down. So you can see there's a little bit of a difference. Uh, same cooking time, same cookie dough, but one went in the oven thicker, one went in thinner. So you can see what we're looking for here. We have a nice golden brown bottom, okay? This tops are still quite soft, all right? And you can see in there the different chips, the three different colors. So there we have it. Those are triple chip cookies.